Hi again, Calc PC students, and here's video number two for this week. Uh, now we're talking about the root test. So video one, we talked about the ratio test. Uh, in this case, we're talking about the root test. And so let's take a look at the root test. You'll see it's pretty similar to the ratio test um, in that it suffers uh, from the uh, same kind of uh, possibility that it might fail. Um, so again, uh, I'm going to uh, let my series Okay, the a sub n. And then we have a similar sort of situation here where one option will be um, a sub n converges absolutely if the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value, I'm sorry, the nth root of the absolute value of a sub n is less than one. Okay, uh, guess what? If a sub n uh, will diverge, if our limit as n approaches infinity of the nth root of the absolute value of n is greater than one, and just like before, the test fails, um, the root test fails if the limit is one. Um, I shouldn't say fails actually, it doesn't fail. It's, it's just inconclusive. Let me, let me rewrite that. I don't, I don't like the, it's probably better to say inconclusive because it doesn't tell you anything. It's not that it didn't work or didn't work or did work or whatever. It, it just doesn't tell us anything about the series. So, um, so very much like the, like the uh, ratio test. Yeah. Uh, let's take a look at a, an example or two. And I think that'll about do it um, for this test. So let's see, um, when would we ever want to invoke this test? Well, um, as you can probably imagine, it'll be when we have a lot of exponentials with n in the exponent location. So something like this, okay? Um, I've got the limit as n goes to one, uh, from one to infinity of e to the two n over n to the nth power. Um, this is one, you know, where you could try to come up with some sort of, uh, you know, um, integral for it, e to the two x over x to the x power. The problem is x to the x power is not a, a trivial thing to try and integrate. Uh, and so, yeah, it would be uh, quite the mess. So um, a better way to go. Yeah, let's try it. What is the limit as n approaches infinity of the nth root of the absolute value of e to the 2n over n to the n, right? Well, now in that case, you know, we can come up with the uh, nth root of e to the 2n, nth root of nth root of n to the n, easy for me to say, uh, n goes to infinity. You know, e to the two n to the nth power, that's just e squared, right? Um, n to the nth powers, nth root is just n. And so now we have e squared over n, which as n goes to infinity, e squared is a constant. So you could even bring it out of the, of the uh, limit if you wanted. Um, you don't have to, because I think we all, all realize that one over n is going to go to zero. So this whole limit is going to go to zero. And just like before, uh, when this is, <clears throat> excuse me, less than one, uh, that proves our series converges absolutely. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, let's see. Um, you know, uh, I'm not going to go through a ton of examples for the root test here. Uh, it's it really comes down to take take a look at your your series the terms of your series. And if there's that nth power in both numerator and denominator, just nth power in general, um, yeah, try the, try the root test. So, okay, so um, that is our, uh, our final test 
for series convergence. So now um, what we have in, in, our, in our book here, Dr. Larson does a nice job of kind of wrapping up series convergence and divergence for us all in one nice uh, neat little package. So I'm gonna draw your attention to page 601 uh, in your textbook. There is a, a, uh, a gray box that has the guidelines. Um, it's at the top of 601 and guidelines um, for uh, series convergence. And um, divergence. Okay, so uh, check those out. Um, it talks to you about, you know, start simple. Start with the simplest one you know. Does the nth term go to zero? Okay, if it, if it doesn't, if the nth term of the sequence isn't zero, you're done. It's, it's got to be divergent because you can't add up an infinitely large string of things that are non-zero and expect it to be finite. Um, you know, and then it says, okay, now, if, if you go and you try that and you go, oh, great, it is zero. So that doesn't tell you anything. Um, then you say, okay, well, is it a special one? Is it a P series? Is it a geometric? Is it a telescoping series? Um, you know, then if it is um, an alternating series, right? One of those special ones, then, then use what we know about those particular series to try and prove convergence or divergence. Um, if it's not one of those, now we're gonna start running through all the other tests that we've talked about. So, so you know, step one, Look at the nth term divergence test. Okay, step two, whoa. Um, step two, eh, get my pen back. Um, is it a special series? Okay, uh, if it is, then use that, okay? Because those are simple techniques. Okay, now we get down to step three. Um, try one of the, um, try one of the tests that we just done. Okay, try the uh, integral test. Try the root test or the ratio test. Okay. So be looking for one of, be on the lookout for one of those ones. Okay. Um, step four finally would be try a comparison test. Can it be compared favorably um, is how he words it. Um, so, you know, is it a limit comparison? Is it a direct comparison? Maybe it's, maybe it's not so complicated that you have to go to one of those other ones. Maybe it's, it's as simple as comparing it to one over N or one over N squared or something like that. Um, uh, those tend to be lower in the hierarchy though of choices, um, be, because you have to come up with what you're going to compare it to. Uh, the example that I did previously in, in one of the other videos, um, you know, when I tried to compare it to like one over the square root of n, and I had some trouble, but when I compared it to one over n, I had a much easier time. Um, and so that would be the idea there. Um, so in, in, in all of the uh, series that we've seen, you know, one of these things is, is probably going to be the best way to go, but it kind of goes in order from, you know, these are easier, this is the simplest, right, to the more, most complex way to go. Uh, and I just put comparison tests at the most complex because you got to come up with what you're going to compare to. That's not always um, arbitrary. Uh, arbitrary is probably not the right word. Um, maybe obvious would be a better word. So I would say let's steer clear if we can of some of those. Um, all right. Well, um, the, uh, the example there on 601 has, um, you know, series A through G and just talks you through like, okay, here's, here's what you should probably be looking at um, to establish convergence or divergence for any of these series. I'm not going to go through that whole example. Um, it's very nicely done there at the bottom of page 601. What I want to um, additionally call your attention to is the big chart that's on 602. You're going to want to bookmark this somehow. Um, as we continue to go on here. Um, this chart on page 602 is super convenient. It's all of the tests for convergence or divergence on one page. So it's a great one pager. Um, it talks about, you know, um, what it is, what it, what the series needs to look like for you to invoke it. What are the conditions for convergence? What are the conditions for divergence? Um, and any supplementary comments they might have, such as the root test to say, well, if the 
if the roots if the limit of the root is one, the test is inconclusive. Um, so um, yeah, t check out that that uh, the last two pages of the section because there's a lot of really great information on there. Um, a good strategy for for comparing. I'm sorry for for establishing convergence or divergence, and the last page is just such a great one pager for all of our our tests for convergence or divergence. Um, obviously, when when we when I give you the assessment on this uh, part of the book or the part of the chapter, you know, uh, it's all about series convergence. Uh, you'll have that page right there, and in a normal year we would still, I, I would, when I make the test, I'd make a copy of that page and include it in the test. Um, just because it's, it's, there's so many different um, tests and comparisons and, you know, is it a geometric, is it a, is it a telescoping series and all that stuff. Um, I don't wanna force you guys to memorize all that. I'd rather see you apply it. And so that's the, that's the rationale behind that. Um, on the page, you'll notice it does kind of go in order of what we just said. So. Uh, I like that as well. Uh, it starts at the top with the nth term divergence test and it goes through all of the same uh, things that we just talked about just in order as you work down the page, the very last one being limit comparison and direct comparison test. So that's about it guys. I think, um, you know, so uh, between the two videos here, you know, we've got the, the ratio test last time, we've got the root test this time and um, you can, you know, really see now all the different ways we have of establishing convergence to divergence for uh, infinite series. So uh, thanks for watching both videos and I will see you in class, uh, some of you in person and the rest of you on Zoom uh, on Thursday. Thanks so much.